Hello and welcome. I took a look at the last 10,000 tweets from Elon Musk and have some interesting findings which I want to share with you. Also, I'm going to show you exactly, step by step, how I got these results. So what you are seeing here are the top 15 words used by Elon over the last 10k tweets. And what I found quite interesting or even funny here is that he does reference this user more often than his own companies, except Tesla. Also what you can see is that he's using positive sentiment indicating words like good and great. He uses the smiley quite a lot and dot 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 indicating a form of speechlessness. Interestingly, the Dogecoin founder is referenced quite a lot. Before we are getting started, the data poll from Twitter is being copy pasted from AI Spectrum, so a huge shout out and thank you to him. I will link this video in the video description. Alright, let's get started. First of all, be sure to install SN Scrape. This is the library enabling you to pull data from Twitter. After installing, import it like this and also import pandas for data handling. I'm also importing from the NLTK library. This is a natural language processing library and I'm going to import stop words. Stop words are just words without an informational content. I give you some examples in the course of this video. Next, I'm going to copy paste from AI Spectrum. And this is simply the loop populating a list of tweets with the tweets from Elon Musk until today, starting some time ago, setting a limit to 10K tweets. So this loop is breaking once we got 10K tweets here and is until then appending the date of the tweet, the username, which is basically Elon Musk, the tweet itself and the like count. So if I'm executing this, this will take like some minutes. So you're getting a warning message here, which we shouldn't be worried about for now, but this will take like three or four, maybe five minutes. We will take a look at what exactly is contained in tweet after this loop is running through. All right, loop it through took roughly four minutes in my case. So let's take a look at what is contained in tweet. So as you see here, you are getting some information and these are the information you basically can extract out of a tweet, right? For instance, the date, which we already extracted, username, as you see here, but also other interesting things like retweet count, like count, quote count, uh, the language of the tweet and so on. So you can explore that for yourself, but just that you know that there are more options than just taking the date, username, content and the like count, right? So what could also be interesting is with which accounts Elon Musk interacts the most, just to give you some, some, some idea, right? For now it's fine, so let's just use this tweets list and generate a data frame out of that. We're doing this also the exact same way as AI Spectrum was using or was, was, was doing, so we're just providing the tweets uh, lists and then you find the column names, which are simply date, user, the tweet itself and the like count. So this is giving us a data frame like this, 10K rows with Elon Musk tweets since uh, somewhere in, yeah, at the end of 2019, so quite some data here, right? And just to warm ourselves up, let's play a bit wrong with this data frame and let's search for the most liked tweets from Elon, right? So we are sorting this data frame using the like count column. You can just use sort values by like count and then define ascending as false. So we see the top like tweets uh, at the top of this data frame. And now you have the tweet sorted by the like count. So you see the Coca-Cola tweet is at the very top here. I think this tweet is one of the most liked tweets in Twitter history. What you can also see here is that the most liked tweets are around the Twitter takeover, right? You can interpret that in two ways. First one is people are interacting more with Elon Musk because of the public interest. So he has, he's getting more likes in general. But also you can say people are supporting this takeover. Your take. I have no comment on that. 
Anyhow, let's move on to analyze the text values here, so the tweet column. And what we need to do, so the final goal is to have all the words here in this column in one list. So in Python terms, you want to flatten this array here. You want to have one list containing all words Elon was using. And we're doing that step by step. So first of all, I want to separate all words in the rows by commas. And we can do that by taking the tweet column and apply string split. And with that, you are getting the column and you see you have a list in, in each row and now all words are split by a comma here. Now we only have to flatten that and get one list out of that, right? And there is a quite nice Python trick to achieve that. So to merge two lists, so these two lists here, which are in the list, you can use the sum function, provide this, and then add a list symbol here, and you have them merged here. Pretty nice, right? And we can exactly use that on our uh, splitted column here. So we are just using flat list and use sum on this one, which we are just storing in splitted and then provide the list symbol and then we're getting a flat list, so a list containing all words Elon was using in this last 10k tweet. So to get an overview of how many words he was using, 121k here, all right? Next, we need to do one thing to this list and that is um, getting rid of all the uppercase uh, letters here. So reason behind that it is for the information of a word, it doesn't make a difference if it's written with uppercase letters or if it's written in lowercase letters, right? So it doesn't matter if you have definitely written uppercase or definitely written lowercase. So what I'm doing is I'm simply transforming this list and apply that I only want to have lowercase letters. So I'm going to reassign that and use a list comprehension to achieve that. I'm basically just looping over this list and make all words lowercase. So I can just use word and then apply lower. This is a string method. So this is simply transforming an uppercase word to lowercase letters for word in flat list. So you will see that now, for instance, definitely is written in lowercase letters. Everything is written in lowercase letters, right? Next, I want to clean up this list a bit. So this list is currently containing so-called stop words. And I'm going to show you what, for instance, stop words are. So I'm using the stop words I've imported from NLTK and check for English stop words and store them in stops. And you will see these are words like I, me, my, myself, we, our, ourselves, you are, you have, you are, and so on, right? She is, she, he, her. So words without an informational content here. So there are some problems with stop words. First of all, this list is not final and we will have to add some stuff to this list. This is a spoiler. You will see that we are not catching all stop words with this list. And yeah, you can even have too many stop words. So stop words are always kind of uh, interpretation. Let's say you want to see how many times a user is um, uh, using the word I to see if the user is, let's say, self-centric or something like that, then you don't want to have the I in your stop words, right? Many other, maybe better examples, but I think you got the point for now. So we want to clean up our flat list for those stop words. And again, I'm 
reassigning and use a list comprehension for that using word for word in flat list if the word is not in my stop words. With that, I have cleaned up my um, flat list a bit and now I'm going to create an array out of that and do some analysis. So let's take a look at the word count. So I'm simply taking a look at the value counts here and this will provide me, so let me show you how this is working. This will provide me the number of the, the word, so the word count here. And you see we have some problems here. You already see that. If I'm taking a look at, um, yeah, let's say the top 15 here, uh, you will see what you saw in the beginning, but not filtered yet. So this is simply counting the values and it's showing the, the value here and the count, right? So if I'm taking the head, I'm getting the top 15 words as this is already sorted. So I can take the, the counts here and take the top 15 counts. And this is providing me this and you already see some problems. So and AMP. So what is and AMP? And AMP is just the end in HTML code, right? So we have to exclude that. And to exclude that, we could add that to our stop words or simply get rid of the uh, and AMPs here. But I think this is the um, easiest way here. So I'm just appending AMP to stops. Then running this again. And now you see we don't have this uh, here anymore. You also see it, and this is quite an interesting uh, case. It is due to this symbol here. So you see this, I think it's is here, but not with the right symbol here, right? So we have to uh, append that as well. Sub so append, it's, all right. So then we can run this one again. And you have the array you saw in the very beginning. So I stored that in array counts here. Anyhow, I think uh, this is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was interesting, maybe even entertaining. <laughs> Tried my best. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'm looking forward to see you in the upcoming videos. Bye bye.